What is happening? Welcome back to The Past is Alive, and thank you all for tuning in for another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. And tonight, we are heading back to the year 2006. We have a more of a high-end box before us here. We have Upper Deck's Sweet Spot. Originally, a couple years back, I think I opened 2003 or 2004 Sweet Spot. Um, obviously known for producing autographs in each one of these boxes. We should see one autograph, numbered, lower numbered auto, and also a, uh, a numbered relic to go along with it. So it's 183 cards set. The final 83 cards are all autographs. And 2006, the rookie class wasn't all that great. Probably the most prominent rookie that came out of that was Prince Fielder, in my opinion. But you see on the top of the box here, we have Jeter and an autograph of him, a one of one. So you have bat relics inside of here, glove relics, and different stitching uh, ball relics and autos as well. So without further ado, let's crack into this box. I think there's one of these on eBay right now. It's 400 bucks, so it gives you um, the feel for you know the price of these. And I typically don't open boxes that are this expensive, but I figured we might as well see what we can find inside of here and see how it goes. And we got lots of potential for some high-end autographs. Albert Pujols, obviously Jeter, one of one. Griffey, tons of Hall of Famers to be found in here. Hopefully we don't end up with you know, some uh, lower end kind of prospect that never panned out. So John S. takes the very first spot. Each spot in this rip is going to have three packs, five cards per pack, so 15 cards per participant. So it's essentially a lottery ticket in hopes that we find something um, higher end. But a preview of ovation here it looks like some propaganda from upper deck to shove down your throat very classy piece of paraphernalia there so we got jeter in the packs as well paul l joe's card curl everybody else thank you all for being here the first three packs we got 12 packs total in the box first three are going to go to john s who just got into this at the very last minute so i actually dropped the ball on this and i posted it way late i posted it this morning and typically I post these on uh, Saturday night, so that is my bad on that one. But good luck to everybody. Let's try to find some pretty big hits inside of here. I mean, these came out back in 2006. They were 10 bucks a pack. So good luck to you, John S. Let's hope these don't stick together. And let's find some nice cards. Of course, I want to see that Willie Moe Pena autograph. So here is a feel for the base card. No bricking, which is nice. We have Vernon Wells leading things off. All kinds of different colored parallels and stuff like that to be found in here as well. Zach Greinke early on in his career. Tory Hunter. There's Pudge Rodriguez. And Jeremy Reed ends the first pack. Cool design of these, though. I definitely like them. I can't say that I've ever seen these in all my years of collecting. So first pack down... Pudge Rodriguez, probably the best card in that pack. I know John S., I believe, is a Braves fan. Correct me if I'm wrong. Feels like we might have something in here, man. This feels pretty thick. So, I don't know if that could be our relic. Hopefully, it's not a spacer. It definitely is something. Hopefully, <laughs> it's not the autograph in the very second pack. That would be my freaking luck. So, I'm pulling this off camera. We definitely got an autograph in that pack. So, John S., you got an autograph. We'll at least save that until <laughs> after this final pack so every time every time i'm guaranteed like one auto relic per box i end up getting the autograph in the very first stack it's my luck hank blaylock starts this one off john s is pumped hopefully it's in the nice man i didn't see what it was i just wanted to verify it was an auto or relic so it was carl crawford john garland dallas mcpherson and michael kadair ends that pack so should we save the autograph till the very end what do you guys think Maybe we should, <laughs> and leave everyone in complete suspense. Yay, nay. All right. It seems like everyone wants to see the autograph. Mikey G says, save it. Jonas says, no, I'm at work. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm getting mixed reactions here. All right, we'll do it. It seems like more people want to see it than not. All right, so I can see the name already. All right, we do have some. I didn't realize we'd have some actual base cards in here, too. So Mark Mulder and the autograph is going to be 
Robert Andino. This is 24 out of 150. The Red Stitch rookie card from a sweet spot. They're definitely really, really cool. Very cool concept. There's a ton of rookies and uh, maybe guys that never panned out. I don't remember Robert Andino. I wasn't wasn't collecting or really following baseball in 2006. So couldn't really tell you a whole lot about him, but this is rookie from the Marlins. And that's out of 150. And of course, his former Oriole. Corey actually might need that for his PC. So that's the first the first stack in the books. And we'll go to the next three. Thank you for participating, John S. Maybe we'll find two autos. Who knows? I've definitely beaten the odds before in boxes. So Jim P is up next. The next three go to you, Jim P. And let's see what we can find in here. So typically the odds for hobby. I only made hobby of this, but you got one relic, one auto per box. So maybe we'll see another autograph. That'd be sick. Scotty Arms, what is happening? Chad Cordero, Orlando Hudson, a name I've not said in a long time, Matt Holiday, Galavin, Dan Heron, and the Propaganda Peace. Trying to force you to log on and save money on Upper Deck's website. Next pack up for Jim P. Big Ray's ball card. What's happening? Got Sean Green in the back, CC Sabathia, who I think will get in the Hall of Fame eventually. Maglio Ordonez. Miguel Cabrera is always nice to see him. Johnny Damon. There's mullet flapping in the wind. And Sean Green is the last card of that pack. I haven't noticed any kind of parallels yet. They all look the same to me, so we'll keep an eye out for those during this rip. And I'm not sure what the next rip's going to be. I think it's going to be some... More upper deck from the mid 90s. Turtle Williams says, Why even have base cards? It should be autos. It, de it definitely should be. That'd be sweet. Berkman, Pat the Bat, Aramis Ramirez, Trevor Hoffman, and Jim Edmonds is going to end that stack for Jim P in the books. So nothing too crazy in there. Nick West is up next. The next three are yours, Nick. Of course, as Paul, I told John to play 12 inches of snow tomorrow night and whatnot live stream. Yeah, tomorrow night I'll be back on whatnot for the uh, the weekly card sale. Trying it out over there. So if you have not gone and bookmarked it yet, it'll be 8 p.m. tomorrow night. I did list a bunch of cards on there. It's mostly all rookie cards. There'll be some vintage in there as well. Um, so try to make a nice variety. Some, you know, Otani rookies, Acuna, stuff like that as well. Mixed in. Delgado, good luck, Nick West. Let's find you something nice. We got a was that a parallel? No, I mean not. Pettit to Trot Nixon. I saw that the balloon in the background. I thought it was a parallel. Scott Casimir, who I pulled his autograph out of, what was that, Masterpieces? The last, Rip, and Jason Veritek. And the first pack for Nick West. I think there's a lot of stuff going on on YouTube and around tonight. So Mikey G, remember for seven months, says, why is the Sweet Spot logo <laughs> over Jeter's crotch? <laughs> yeah. Definitely censoring Jeter. Whatever was going on in that photo. Mikey G, I appreciate you, man. Adam Dunn, there is his Caesar. Javi Lopez, or as we once called him, Javi or JB Lopes. Zag Duke, definitely a cringy name now. Back in 1997, I was very pumped on him. Carlos Zambrano ends that pack. The third pack, sweet spot. I can't tell if it's a relic inside of there. Final pack for Nick West. I should have given me more packs in a box. Only 12. Richie Sexton shows up. Shows Carl Carroll is cringing. And looks like we got a relic in here. Number 45. Let's put that off to the end. Carlos Lee. David De, De Jesus. Sexton. And the relic is going to be. It's out of four. Oh, look at that. That's pretty sweet. Bat relic of Gary Sheffield. 16 of 45. Sheffield may make the haul someday. That is pretty sick, though. That's a cool-looking freaking relic. I like that a lot. 16 of 45. Very nice. Sheffield, at least it wasn't Scott Kashmir. Scott Posednik. Somebody along those lines. Nick West, you got a Sheffield 
Swatch. Chris L., let's find you something nice. I think Chris L. collects, I know he collects uh, Mark Grace. But it'd be nice to find you a cubby in here. But um, good luck to you, man. So hopefully we can beat the odds and find a freaking propaganda piece. Fooled me again. Milton Bradley, Clint Barnes, Coco Crisp. Mikey G is asking for a bingo. The bingo rip will not happen tonight. Jeff Kent and Paul Konerko, who also may make it into Cooperstown at some point in life. First pack down. Paul L. seeing 12 inches of snow now. Yeah, tomorrow night, I don't know how people play music on whatnot, but um, I think we're probably going to have to have Scruff McGruff playing. I don't think that anyone that pops in there is really going to understand what any of that is. They pop it in here cracking cocaine by Scruff McGruff playing, but I don't really care. <laughs> Bingo Rip won't have it. It's on the list. It's on the list now. Melvin Mora, John Smoltz. Being put on the empty promises list is a kiss of death. Mark Teixeira, David Wright, and Nick Swisher to end that pack for Chris L. And the final pack of this rip. Very, very quick rip. Only 12 packs in here. Let's beat the freaking odds. Can we? It doesn't seem like we're going to here. Jorge Cantu, Jermaine Dye, Cliff Floyd, Bobby Abreu, and David E. Ends that rip. That is it. That's the thing about Sweet Spot. You get one auto, you get one relic, and sometimes you can get really freaking lucky and get a one-of-one one Jeter, but there's also a ton of other names in there, so it's, it's definitely... Uh, a reach to pull some of those bigger names. Joe's car crosses was never a fan of Zach Duke. That jabroni somehow played forever for me. <laughs> Not much better. I liked Ian Snell and Oliver Perez. I remember being stoked on all Oliver Perez and also Carlos Perez, the Expos pitcher back in the mid nineties. And I'm not really sure why, but like I said, um, there's one box. He's on eBay. It's listed at 400 bucks. There's not in sold listings. There's no, another one's on there. So it's hard to track these down. But I figure we give it a shot, see if we can possibly pull something crazy out of there. The Sheffield Relic was definitely probably the best thing out of the box, I would say. Um, would I buy a Sweet Spot again? I don't know if I would because it's um, it's kind of a bigger risk. I'd, I think I'd rather rip lower-end boxes around the $100 range, $150 bucks, somewhere in uh, that uh, area. But if you have suggestions for future rips, please, please, please let me know. I'm always open um, you know, to suggestions on other boxes that I haven't ripped before. I've opened 89 per deck and all these other boxes. If you go back to my channel, you'll see all of those if you type it in the search bar. Um, so I've opened a lot, but uh, there's definitely a bunch that I have not yet explored. So throw it out there for me, and I'll see what I can do. And you might see Hummer Bush autograph up for grabs and the whatnot live stream tomorrow night at 8 p.m. So very, very short rip. Uh, that's all I have for you guys tonight. I appreciate you all being here. I appreciate you guys participating. Um, and I'll see you back on whatnot, hopefully tomorrow at 8 PM. And then I should have the retro wax box on Thursday or Friday and, uh, we will go from there. So thanks again, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow night.